I have a really hard time scaling it. Um, and my first question is what, I tried a lot of audience, obviously um, the lookalike one um, submit application 180 days, that, that, that this one is working really well, but I did try like other audiences and nah, it's not so good at, um, so what happens if you just find like one to two audience that's working really well, like how, how should you scale from here? I guess that's my first question. Yeah, um, that makes sense. And hover over the inspect for the 180 day and then press yeah. there inspect. Yeah, for the 1%. Yeah, and this one's not too stable at two. Like even with this one, I mean, it's it's going pretty well starting out, but then, you know, now it's just fluctuating. Yeah, scroll down, please. Yeah, yeah right here, auction competition, you see that big spike in cost? Mm. You had this one 50, I mean. yeah, you had the, you had the highest auction competition percentage you actually can't have. It's literally like 50%. You hit it 49.24. That's like the highest it gets. It means so you have so many different yeah. advertisers targeting that exact audience. Oh. Uh, so however yeah, that big spike, you see that's where the cost jump was. That's what happened. And it looks okay. like you have another guy that's let, or another individual that's just overlapping you in auction or is just yeah. beating you out across the board so um scroll down yeah yep so that's the main that's the only thing it was just the auction competition it has nothing to do with your audience has nothing to do with your ads has nothing to do with scaling it's somebody else is beating you on your auctions okay well i guess there's nothing i could do about it right <laughs> there are a few things you can do um i will send you a link to um, in the chat, I'll just yeah. send out the link. Because th th that's what I noticed too. Like I noticed my ad sets. I mean, when they're starting out, they could they do pretty well. But like within two weeks, three weeks, some I mean, other advertisers in your audience. Yeah. Uh, so, click on that link. All right. Trying to go back to the how do I go back to the chat? What the... no worries. Um, but after we stop oh, sharing, I see it, yeah. yeah. So this right here, scroll down. Yeah. You see that second one? How ad auction winners are determined. Winners are determined yeah. So you just essentially look at that and understand what it is, why, why are you, you losing in the auction competition? Because if you have yeah. a 50% competition rate with these guys, then you gotta understand why is it that they're winning bids over you and spiking your cost. And then you can just essentially okay. learn this. Yeah, awesome. Okay, cool, cool. I guess I'll have a look at that. Yeah, it happens every single time, like, I guess. Hmm. So I'll look at that. Um, any any other recommendations that you have for me? I guess that's that's one of the reasons why these these audience are not working because a larger like, percentage would help. Uh, because percentage. then yeah, because then if you have some other advertiser overlapping a large audience and is beating you out on auctions, if you had a bigger audience, uh, mm. it wouldn't be as significant of a hit because your the system would just go towards another audience that it could get results for you in. Okay, so maybe I should do something like. 2% to like 5% or 10%, right? So exactly. Like okay. Exactly. Gotcha. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Um, no then problem. I'll look at that. And then do you recommend I kind of like, I don't know, like start a new creative or something like that or a new angle to kind of like, mm, you know, only if you, kind of I mean, if your results are working with the creatives you have, I just stick to those. Yeah. I mean, it is working, but it's just like, it just ups and downs all the time. You know, that's kind of like what I don't like about it, which makes sense with the uh, competition. So yeah, maybe I'll look at that and I'll probably hop in another call with you this Wednesday or next week to see how I yeah. can kind of the, get the direct, the direct change here is the audience size, not the audience, yeah, yeah. just the size, not the creative, okay. just the size. Do you think I should when you watch the um, auction competition? Yeah. You'll see other things that you can do to improve your bids. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool, cool, awesome. Then I guess I'll just I'll just go ahead and watch that to see. 
So I'm out. Awesome. Hey, thanks for the help today. No problem. Open up like this one, um, cost per purchase, um, starting from the lowest. Um, so they're out like today, they're all, I put that into effect yesterday and today, um, the ones, so two bucks, three bucks, three bucks, two bucks, and that's on that lookalike. This is on this other lookalike. Um, come on. Oh, I guess it's just on the other lookalike that it's, I don't know, it is. Two bucks, 290, three bucks, three, three. Um, yeah, that's amazing. So, and I mean, it was averaging like eight to 12 before, but I just, um, I turned back on all my, so basically after it spent $20 and I turned off all the campaigns that had not produced any purchases, even if they were initiate checkouts and add to carts. Um, I guess that's another question, not necessarily tying into it, but if you still hit like, say like a $20 mark and it's not delivering, but you have a bunch of initiate checkouts or add to carts, do you ever keep those on just to see, or do you turn them off if they're not delivering purchases? Yeah, if they're not delivering purchases, I don't keep them. You don't care about because then I'm just checkout. worried about then I'm worried about it sending a hell of a lot of bad traffic to the site and messing up the rest of the lookalikes. Good point. Okay, cool. Um, so should I start my seven day trial of testing these over since I made that change and put it back into review? I guess is my no. other question. Leave it alone. It's getting good cost per purchase. Have you had cost per purchase like this before? This low? On a oh, and no, only like the first time, but never on like you know 10 different ad sets at a time it might be on one ad set mm -hmm. one time and get lucky. Um, yeah so that's really good so i'd leave that alone i mean like you don't want to disturb something that after all those changes you implemented um you know leave it alone since it is working so well now so that's good so is my seven day testing period starting back last friday or is it starting since yesterday since i made those changes and put it into review it starts the moment you made the change so yesterday okay cool um and then one more, if actually, can I ask two more quicker questions? Sure. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how this works. Um, so as far as deleting the pixel um, in the code and adding it in, um, as far as doing it manually, like you were talking about, like I went to go add it manually on the events, um, through the events, I forgot what it's If called, you already have your pixel on your site, then I'd leave that alone. So my, my concern is it's one to $200 off every day. Um, well, did was your pixel already set up correctly before you started making changes on it it was and i didn't make any changes but it it still is like oh, okay, cool. you know it might say seventeen hundred dollars and it sold eighteen hundred bucks that day you know it's it's close but it's still not a, on the ad account yeah it'll show seven it'll what be like on the pixel 100 to 200 short um almost daily but that's anything over like 1500 bucks is that normal uh in the ad account it's only attributing what comes from the ads I didn't think about that. I guess there could be people coming. Oh, so it could be from my like my, my email that goes out or something like that from Shopify. I didn't think about that. Uh, yeah, like exactly. Like, hard or whatever. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, and then last one for today. Um, so if I'm using I'm using two different pixels. Uh, this Freedom Fit is my pixel. This Fitness Mutant is uh, I think I mentioned before is a friend's uh, that was doing a similar business and then just gave me the pixel. Um, so I'm doing an open, um, that open control campaign. I just started it. So it hasn't, it hasn't, uh, yeah, got any purchases or anything like that yet. I'm running that. Um, I know it's not pulling anything from the pixel, but I think just cause I don't understand how the pixel works enough. Would you do another one like this, um, using my friend's pixel or is this no, just me? No, you only do your pixel on these ad sets. Don't put his in there because you're not tracking his. For sure. So use his to pull, and he's not doing it anymore, but use his for just the, to Only use that pixel that he shared with you for audiences. Do not put it in your ad set as a optimization event. It will never work. Your yeah. tracking won't ever go through. Gotcha. Yeah, so I, that's what I was wondering. I was wondering if it would even show up on here as purchases if I even got them from, from that or anything like that. Yeah, that's a definite no. Do not do that. Okay, gotcha. Only pull that's from one, audience. That's one way street to like losing your entire ad account. <laughs> Got it. Okay. It would just cool. dump it off a cliff instantly. Got it. Perfect. Sounds good. That answered all my questions for you. I really appreciate it, Chase.
I got a new setup here, so I don't know if you're seeing mine. Yeah, you are. Okay, cool. Um, so I actually just went ahead and with CBO best performing ad sets, this used to be all my ad sets of that over you know, a month showed to be the best. And I went ahead and combined those into this one campaign. Um, and as of a couple of days ago, I actually just linked, which I didn't think about it would do, but I actually just linked the Instagram um, with the ads, you know what I mean? In order for them to be yes, really it's moderation of comments as well as other things like, um, but I, I wanted just to link the two. Um, I heard good things. So I just went ahead and did that, looked into it and seemed like a good idea, but I didn't okay. realize that it pretty much, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying that's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't realize it would completely, I think it actually switched over the ad ID um, and it completely eliminated the engagement, which isn't no big deal, honestly. I mean, it still has got the Facebook engagement, but in terms of the Instagram, I was getting a oh, bunch of wipe that videos. out. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, really no big deal. That's what happens. Yeah, there was a, a very repetitive comment that this kind of looks like, uh, and it was, I mean, hundreds of those. So it's no big deal, honestly. That way I can at least moderate now. Um, you know, it sucks that it happened, but now that it kicked back into learning, I was just watching um, or I was just listening into some of the other, you know, communication that you were having. And I actually just turned these, uh, just added uh, detailed expansion. Figured I couldn't turn anything because it kicked, again, after linking it, kicked it back into learning. So I just went ahead and did that. So I'm gonna give this some more time. Use it as an opportunity because yeah, you already reset the learning a minute ago. Exactly, exactly. So I was gonna see, uh, we've gone I'm over this a little bit. I'm curious to know, if you go back to the performance column real quick. Yeah. When did you make that change for Instagram? About, I'd say, two days ago. Okay. Do, okay. And change the breakdown, do the breakdown, and then do placements. Under delivery, and then do platform. Yeah, platform. I'm curious to know what the cost was in the last two days on Instagram because of that removal of social proof agreed where oh, did, oh i see yeah just press that left. little you see the results from six ad sets that little black text at the bottom left yes do you see that little arrow pointing yeah click that I, there I you just go. got a new setup so this trackpad's getting used so to. and then scroll over to the right so we can see the row ads looks like you had five purchases in the last two days yeah. 1.48 Okay, switch to the before you made the change on the social proof. Let's just to be safe, let's do this. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it actually improved. Yeah. So, so that's, that's good. good. So I wouldn't worry about the social proof in that aspect then. I wouldn't really either. Yeah, I think it was, again, it was a bunch of kids. <laughs> So <laughs> initially I was trying to hide all of them and I was like, you know what, I'm not winning this battle. So uh, I'm yeah. glad that I did that. It seems a lot more convenient in terms of me just being able to log into Instagram on my phone and, and check everything out. And then I also big um, thing with me was I actually went into Instagram, the settings and hit keywords, which is, that was the biggest thing I was wanting to do, which seems to be working well. So um, good. good on that. That's awesome. Yeah. I break down. Need to start using that. So in regards to going back to normal here, okay, done. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I went ahead and implemented also the retargeting. Um, I went ahead and added a few. Yeah, it looks good. Um, actual 15% off, and I actually just turned. Even though some reporting, oh, I keep those on for sure. Yeah, yeah, I know. I agreed. I just realized that, um, but I went ahead and turned them off earlier this morning because I, I really wanted to get these, um, just have some spend, see if it's, uh, because I was not offering any sort of, um, wasn't offering anything. So I figured with the retargeting, go ahead and add 15% off and see if that did anything. But yeah, I agreed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these on for sure. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Yeah, and that's, that's the but uh, yeah, man, fantastic. Um, I don't really have anything else at the moment. Uh, as I, we've spoken before, I've had some ups and downs. It seems to be going a little bit back up.
uh, I think those little things and quirks that I've done uh, will be helping. Uh, I also, to be honest with you, quite surprised uh, with with the performance of this. Uh, even it's a 2.21, like I was just because the product themselves are, are very uh, visually, you know, um, so I assumed that video was just, you know, the main go to like that's you got to see, you know, how it works in itself. But after doing the pictures, you know, uh, phase two, I'm actually I'm pretty surprised at that. So cool. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Well, thank you again. And I will hopefully see you Wednesday if it don't work. Awesome, Jacob. Good results. Thanks. Yep. Thank you.